Hello there. If you've got a perfect green screen set up, then this video is not for you. But if you're more like me, where you've got a hole in it and the lighting is patchy at best, then maybe I've got something that'll help you. So you can see, I hope you can see um, the sort of, you know, nasty mess that's going on there. Um, now with the technique I'm going to uh, show you, this is using this exactly the same footage, but you can get a better result um, using a slightly different way of doing it. And let me just show you, you know, uh, going up here, you've got that versus that now this is the you know the footage out of OBS using the OBS uh, green screen and maybe I haven't set it uh, the best possible way of setting it I, I don't know I'm not an expert um, but the, the thing is you want to record green screen and then in your editing software in my case here hit film express do the uh, the green screen because there might be a, a new algorithm that comes out for a, an, an even better way of doing green screen further down the line. And if the only footage you've got is with the background in, that's not going to be that helpful. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are. This is the, um, yes, dreadful footage. I mean, you can see uh, the way I've got my green screen organized. There's a, a hole in it effectively here. Um, it's all wrinkled. Um, I've backlit it partially, which is not a great idea, um, but it's the only way I can get enough light here for it to work at all. It's just, it's not a great setup. And the reality is that quite often is the case. I mean, yes, there's a, a proper way of doing green screen. There's some great videos out there to teach you how to do that. But this is when you've got bad footage and you want to rescue the situation. So. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm basically going to build a mask and mask out all that rubbishy stuff and then just put in a background that is a much more even green. Um, the only things to say about the mask is obviously, you know, think about uh, how close you want it to be, you know, have some feathering um, and, you know, feel free to, you know, I mean, with mine here. I'm getting quite close because that's where the hole is. Um, so if I turn it off, uh, you can see that's where the hole yeah, that we're trying to solve over there. So I really want to get as close as possible. I have the risk of possibly fading out my arm a little bit, but really, if, you, if you're really studying the arm, and again, you could argue if you're studying the hole, then, then <laughs> the rest of the program ain't, ain't sufficiently interesting. So that's sort of phase one. You create that comp shot. Um, which is just the footage that's masked with a nice even green background. And then there's a, another um, comp shot that's got the green comp shot inside it. And I'm just adding another couple of things. So there's a plane that I've masked out uh, to cover the face. Why am I doing that? Well, if I turn that off again, and we have a little look at what happens when you do the color difference key and tweak it, the settings so that they're as effective as, as you can. Um, these are the settings I use, but your settings will be different. And then the whole sort of power behind this trick, this technique is that we're going to view the mat. So we're going to make a black and white version rather than a color version, which means that any imperfections in the face area, we can solve by that cutout. So that's what that's about. So that's covering over the holes. Again, if you know, if you're very animated and you move around a lot, um, you might have to to move that. But you you know, that's saying, you know, we we key our masks all the time, don't we? So that that then is going to give us this really nice um, you know, clean mask that we can use for our keying. And then the final shot is just putting those two together. We're, we've got the, the mat. If I hide everything and show you, that's the mat that we've just, again, it's just that, that comp shot here in there. Put in whatever background you want. 
and then the shot itself with a set mat to affect the source layer is the mat so we don't need to see that anymore I can just hide it I don't know if that helps the system you know the fact that it's below everything don't know but anyway it's as simple as that and that's what gives you the nice smooth effect so because of those sort of two extra comp shots it's a little bit more complicated than other techniques but the, the payoff is is great and all within wonderful free hit film express